Hey, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this jellyfish, which was, uh, which was designed by me. Um, so yeah, I made this jellyfish probably a couple weeks ago, and I'm making a tutorial for it because it is really simple and easy. Um, this is probably one of my easiest designs just because it's so simple, but I think it looks really cute. Oh no, these two are stuck together. <laughs> yeah. So this was the first version. Uh, actually, this wasn't the first version. There's been a couple versions. Also, I think I posted on my Instagram, I'll probably put it in like a story highlight, that I originally tried to make a jellyfish like three years ago and it just didn't work out. Um, but I kind of came back to that same idea and it actually worked out this time, so I'm making a tutorial for it. Just goes to show how long sometimes it takes to make designs, because I know you guys think sometimes I'm so quick, but I've been trying to make a jellyfish for, like, I've been coming back to the idea for like three years, so it's been, it's been a bit. But, yeah. I think they're cute. They're very simple. They don't take many bands at all. Um, so the band count for these guys, I'm going to say is about 350. Um, 350? What the heck? No, not 350. <laughs> 150. Um, I cal calculated it was like 138-ish. Um, it really just depends how many you put on the bottom like of these things. Um, but it's not like a lot of one band. So without like counting the bottom bit, this bit is only about 74 bands um and this bottom bit is probably i would say about the same so like 60 bands uh but i do them in a lot of different colors so like it's not like you're using a lot of one color so yeah he's not band heavy at all he's 138 bands not 350 like i said i don't know why i said that i always mix up numbers but yeah so he's super simple. I'm going to be showing you how to make this today, and I think that's all I really have to say for this design. I do think this is a really good design for beginners because it's just it's just really simple. But yeah, a bunch of jellyfish. Uh, and yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, we're going to get started. I don't even know. So, of course, you're going to need a hook. Um, I'm using my double-ended hook just because this is my favorite hook. Um, I've also had a couple people recently ask me where I got my hook. It was the Lumi Loom by Rainbow Loom, but they, um, they don't sell it anymore, so, yeah. And then you're gonna need a C-clip to mark your rows, or just something to mark your rows with. Um, you don't need stuffing for this design, actually, because <laughs> the, you don't stuff them, so, yeah. And then you're just gonna want to get whatever colors you want for your jellyfish. Um, also, it's kind of hard to tell, but I like to put this... Oh, you can see it better on this guy. I like to put, like, a little splotch of, um, color on the top of their head. I just think it looks cute. Uh, I'll be doing that again today. You don't have to do it, though. You can make the top all one color. So, yeah. So, today my jellyfish is gonna be light purple, and then the tentacles are gonna be, um, rainbow. So, I have all my rainbow colors over here. That wasn't rainbow. That was just red. But his tentacles are gonna be rainbow. So... Yeah. So we'll get started. I'm just gonna pull my bands out because I forgot. Okay. So to start. Also the pattern and the band count and everything are in the description in case you need any of that. But to start we're gonna start by wrapping a band three times around our hook and then putting five stitches in it. Um, if you don't know how to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you. Okay. So, also, we're going to start, if you want to do the, like, little splotchy bit on his head, you're going to want to start with that color, and I'll tell you when to change it. But otherwise, just ignore the color changing bit. So, like I said, to start, we're going to wrap a band three times around our hooks. This is one, two, and then three. And then you're going to pull a band through everything on your hook both ends back on and then push the back loop over the front loop and then we're gonna go back into the cap band we're gonna pull a band through just the cap band put both ends back on and then push the back loop over the front loop again and then you're gonna push this loop from last time over as well and we're going to do the exact same thing we just did three more times. So we have five loops in total in the cap band. So we'll go back in to the cap band. Pull a band through just the cap band. Put both ends back on your hook. Push the back loop over the front loop. And then push this loop from last time over as well. So we're going to need to do that two more times. So we have five stitches total. So one... And two. 
So once you've done it two more times, you should have five loops in total. So we'll just count to make sure we have five. So you're going to start by counting the one in your hook. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Just make sure you don't count this um, horizontal band, I guess. Like, you can see it's kind of crossing over. Make sure you don't count that one as a loop. Because sometimes it'll look like a loop, but it's not. So once you've made sure you have five um, stitches in your cap band, instead of going back into the cap band, we're going to go through the first loop. So make sure it's focused. So we're going to go through the first loop. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to pull it through the loop. Both ends back on your hook. Push the back one over the front one. And then you'll push the loop from last time over as well. And then we'll be putting a C-clip on this band. <laughs> like that. So for the next row, we're going to be increasing everything. And what that basically means is we're going to be putting two stitches in every loop until we get back to the to the C-clip. And I'll show you what I mean by that. And also, if you're doing the color splotchy thingy, where you have like a little spot of different color on his head, um, you're going to want to get the color that you're going to use for the rest of his body. Okay. So all we're going to do for this one is basically one half of the increase is going to be purple. So this one is already there. And then the second half is going to be your other color. So like I said, we're increasing everything. So we're just putting two stitches in each loop. So this one already has one in it. But since we're increasing, we need to go back in and do another one. So we'll go back in and we'll just make a stitch. And we're not going to do anything fancy to flip colors. I just switch back and forth. And then we're going to go, once you make sure this one is two stitches, we're going to go into the next loop. And we're going to start with purple. Just make a stitch. And we go back in and do another stitch because we're increasing. So all it increases is basically you just go into the loop and you put um, two stitches in it. Increases are pretty easy. And we're just going to keep doing this all the way around until we get back to the C-clip. So, once again we'll go into the next loop. We'll pull a band through just the loop. Both ends back on. Push the back one over the front one and then push the loop from last time over. I'm just explaining that bit again because I've been getting some comments recently that I <laughs> just whacked my camera that I um, only explained the how to make the stitches once per tutorial but I kind of expect you to kind of already know because I see my camera's falling because I feel like if I like went into detail how to do the stitches each time some people who already know how are going to get annoyed so yeah uh. But yeah, all we're doing is we're putting two stitches in each loop and alternating colors until we get back to the C-clip. Like I said, if you're not doing the splotchy like bit on the head, you would ignore this part. Oh, my camera's flying again. There we go. It's fine now. So we're just doing two stitches in each loop all the way around. And increasing everything in case you know. In case you've watched some of my other tutorials and you know what I mean by that. So... Increase. Okay. And then once you get to the C-clip, you're just going to go into the band that has the C-clip on it. And that's also the last we're going to be using of our color for the little spot on top of the head. So now the rest of this is going to just all be in my light purple. And I'm just picking up some bands really quick. I'm sorry, I always take so long to pick up bands. And then, what were we doing? Okay, so like I said, once we get to the band that has the C-clip on it, you'll just make a stitch on the band that has the C-clip on it. And then you'll move the C-clip up onto this band. So you'll just take it off the band it was on, and move it up into the band that's on your hook now. Like that. And also, after that last row, we should have ten loops now, so if you count around, you should have ten. So we'll always start by counting the one on our hook. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now this row, we're going to be increasing every third. I don't know why. I just got a text. Swiped it away. But um, we're going to be increasing every third. And basically what that means is we're going to be doing two single stitches. And then we're going to do an increase. So you just put one in each loop. And then you put... You know, it's going to make more sense if I do it. I don't even know why I try explaining with words. But yeah. So we're going to be increasing every third. 
So this one already has one in it, and like I said, since we're not increasing everything, you only need to have one in it. So this is going to be one, next one's going to be two, and we're just doing a single stitch, so you only put one stitch in the loop. And then, like I said, we're increasing on the third, so this is one, two, so the next one will be the third stitch. And we're going to do an increase, so we'll put two stitches in this loop. And we're just going to keep doing this all the way around, so that was one. So then we'll start again, so you do one single stitch, then you do another single stitch, and then on the third loop, you're going to do an increase, so we'll put two stitches in this loop, and that is all we're doing for this row. So you're just going to keep doing that until you get back to the C-clip. So like I said, you do two single stitches, so one, and then you'll move into the next loop. This will be the second single stitch we're doing, two. And then on the third loop, you do an increase, so you put two stitches in this loop. So one, then you go back and do another, two. And then it'll just be single stitches until you go back to the C-clip. So one. And once you get to the loop that has the C-clip on it, once again, we'll just be making a stitch. And then you're going to move the C-clip up onto this band. Like that. So now if you can around, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You should have 13 loops around. Yep. Uh, what do I do with my pencil? I forgot to write down earlier how many loops you're supposed to have for these next two row. It's not a big deal, but... Like, when I write the pattern in the description, I need to know. But I always seem to forget. Okay, so for the next row, we're going to be increasing every fourth. So, basically, it's the same thing as the last row. So, but this time, we'll be doing three single stitches. And then on the fourth loop, you do an increase. So, it's the same kind of thing. And believe it or not, we're already almost done with this jellyfish. Um, he comes together really quickly. So, yeah. So, this will be count as the first um, single stitch. So, this is one... I think you can hear someone's car horn. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so it's one, two, and then three. And then on the fourth loop, we're going to do an increase. So we put two stitches in this one. And we just keep doing that all the way around. So we're going to do three single stitches. So one, two, and then three. And then on the fourth loop, we'll do an increase, so we'll be putting two stitches in this one. And then we just keep repeating the process. So, one, two, then three. And then on the fourth loop, we do an increase. Um, like that. And then it'll just be single ones until the C-clip. I only have to do one single one and then I'm at the C-clip, so one single stitch. And then we'll be at the C-clip, so we'll just make a stitch on the band that has the C-clip on it. And we'll move the C-clip up. So after that last row, we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you should be at 16 loops. I'm sorry, I was just writing something down on my pattern. So now what we're going to be doing for the next two rows is we're just going to be doing two rows normal. So we're just doing single stitches all the way around. And we're not increasing or decreasing, so at the end of each of these two rows, you should still be at, um, what do you call it? You should still be at 16 loops. Uh, I'm going to stay on with you, maybe just to do, I might just stay on to do both. Um, <laughs> this design's pretty small, so you can go around pretty quick. So like I said, we're just going to be doing one, we're just going to be doing one row normal. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to be doing single stitches all the way around until we get back to the C-clip. So... We are just going to go around doing single stitches. Uh, I feel like I don't have much to explain here because 
It's pretty simple. And like I said, at the end of these two rows, you should still be at 16 loops. And this is the first row we're doing, so we'll have one more to do after this. I honestly just might stay on to do both because I go, like, sometimes when the um, design's a little bigger, it takes a second to go around, but this one's pretty small, so. Yep. I'm honestly so happy I finally figured out how to make a jellyfish. I've it w It's been on my to-do list for so long, and I've always wanted to make one. I know, like, everyone makes that really big one. I kind of want to make a big jellyfish just because why not, but, you know kind of happy I figured out how to make a smaller jellyfish that I think looks really cute and I'm happy with it but yeah we're just doing single stitches all the way around and that's why I'm talking to fill the silence okay and then once again once we get to the band that has a c-clip on it we are just going to make a stitch on the band that has a c-clip on it and then move it up Beep. Like that. And after that last row, you should still be at 16 loops. If you can't already, you should still have 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we're going to do the exact same thing we just did. Again, I'm going to stay on camera to do it because it doesn't take long. <laughs> I mean, I could go off camera, but eh, it's fine. Okay. I'm just picking up some bands. I, I honestly should always pause my camera when I pick up bands, but I don't. So once again, we're just going to be doing single stitches all the way around until we get back to the C-clip. I do think it's kind of interesting because I always talk to fill the silences because, um, I don't know, I just don't like the silence. And it's funny because some people are always like, why is she talking instead of explaining? And then I also get comments that are like, oh my god, I love how she talks to fill the silence, so... Can just never win, I guess. Someone's always gonna be mad, but I I prefer talking. Uh, also, because we're literally doing the same thing as last row this time, I feel like I don't need to explain. I feel like I always talk when, like, I don't need to be explaining. So, yeah. Yep. And I'm almost back at the C clip. Maybe I should have gone off camera to do the second row. But oh well, too late now. Okay, we're almost there. You know, this jellyfish is actually kind of like a commission for someone. They messaged me and asked if I could make them a jellyfish, and I was like, sure. So, yeah. Okay, so once we get back to the C-clip, this time, instead of just making a stitch on the band and moving it up, uh, we're going to take the C-clip out, and then we're going to go into the next loop, and we're going to pull a band through everything our loop on, on our loop on our hook. Pull the band through everything on your hook, and then we're going to put the back one over the front one, and we're going to pull it tight. So we're tying it off. Like that. Also, at the end of the two rows, you should still have 16 loops. Um, you want to check that. I didn't check because I know I did it right. Or at least I hope I did it right. I probably did it right. But yeah, so then once you um, tie it off, you're just going to hide the tail. That's what I was doing. You saw me hiding it inside to the creation. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfectly hidden like this little bit sticks out, but you can't see it anyways, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And there we go, we have the top of a jellyfish. So now what we're going to do is we are going to be making the tentacles. Um, I don't know, whatever this is on the jellyfish. And I've done a couple different things. I've, I kind of like how this looks where you do two colors. I've done like full strands of like, um, one color. And then, like, this guy just has, like, a lot of different color strands. So you can do all kinds of different things. I do kind of like how the smoothie mix... I use the smoothie mix bands for this looks. But today I'm going to be doing rainbow. So, yeah. Okay. So it's pretty simple. So you're just going to get whatever colors you want for the things on the bottom. I usually make these first, and then I add these in later. So for these. And I don't really have a specific length. I make them. But to start... You're just gonna wrap a band three times around your hook. So one, two, three. Then you're gonna get another band. You're gonna pull it through everything on your hook. Put both ends back on, and then you're just gonna push the back one over the front one. And then we're gonna flip it. So, just gonna flip it. 
then you'll get your next color. You'll pull a band through everything on your hook, put both ends back on, push the back one over the front one, and then flip it again. And we keep doing this until your pentacle, I guess, is as long as you want it. Uh, I don't have an exact length I do these. I honestly kind of just feel it, I guess. Um, also, if you lose track if you flipped it or not, if the horizontal band is facing outwards, you forgot to flip it. So, yeah. Just a tip. <laughs> But yeah, I don't have an exact length. I make the tentacles. I try to make some short ones and some long ones. But basically, um, I just do this until I feel like it's long enough. And then I'll make some longer ones and some shorter ones. Uh, yeah, there's not an exact process for this. But I don't feel like you guys will be like, eh, she didn't explain well if I don't tell you exactly how long I did these. Because it's kind of up to you. I mean, you can make your jelly and fish have really long tentacles or really short ones. Um, how many have I done so far? So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've done seven. So this one's about seven long right now, but I still want it to be a little longer. So I'll just keep going. Just keep flipping. So yeah, so all we're doing is we just flip and then you pull a band through and push the back one over the front one. And then we flip again. I'll show you again when I do the next tentacle in case you are confused, but I feel like this is pretty simple. You just pull a band through, put the back one over the front one, and then flip sides. Uh, I think this one might be long enough now. E yeah. So how I measure basically is I kind of just hold my hook up inside the jellyfish and then see if I like how long it is. And then if I do, I'll just, what I do, and basically what you're going to want to do, is you're just going to turn your jellyfish head inside out for a bit. And where I usually tie these, because you want them to be in the middle, is like right here are the, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> but you can see these, where the cap band and then there's stitches on it. I usually just go into like two of them. And then I'll just pull a band through. That's usually the color of the thing we made. And then I pull tight. And you don't have to tuck these in at all because when you flip it inside out, you can't see it. So you don't have to tuck it in. And yeah, so I have one. So basically you're going to want to repeat this process. Let's see, how many does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six. He has six, like six to seven times to make a bunch of tentacles. And, you know, I don't really have an exact length. You can make them long. You can make them short. Usually I do a mix of like long and short. So as you can see... Like, there's, like, two longer ones, and then I have some shorter ones. And then there's, like, a really short one back here. So just make them, like, varying in length. Um, yeah, that would be my only thing I say. Don't make them all the same length. Um, and just, you know, do whatever. <laughs> but I'll show you how to make them one more time in case you were confused on that last bit. Um, I'm going to make this one on camera, and then I'm going to go off to do a couple more. Like I said, it's kind of hard to tell you because um, I don't do exact lengths. Just feel it. Your jellyfish will look fine. Don't worry about it. But yeah, so you're just going to wrap a band three times around your hook. And then you'll pull a band through. Put both ends back on. And then you're just going to push the back one over the front one. Like that. You're also not going to want to pull on this in case I wasn't... Kind of obvious. We can pull it in a little bit, but you don't want to, like, yank it, I guess. And then you'll flip sides. And then you pull a band through everything on your hook again. Both ends back on. Push the back one over the front one. And then flip sides again. And we just keep doing this. So you pull a band through everything on your hook. Both ends back on. Push the back one over the front one. And we just keep doing this. Yeah. If you don't pull on them, they'll be very together and kind of clump together. I kind of like how that looks, so I usually don't pull on it at all. Um, yeah. So you're, you're just going to do this until you get your tentacle, whatever length you want. And then you'll make about like six or seven of these and then tie them all in the head. 
Like I said, you're going to want to flip the head inside out for when you tie it. I just flipped it back over so I can show you that you don't need to tuck the tails in. Which is good. I'm so happy. Imagine having to tuck all these tails in. I would not want to do that. I think this one's going to be a little bit of a shorter one. Yeah, let me see. Hmm. Does he need more longer ones? No, I'm going to make this one a short one. <laughs> so that's all I kind of do. I just decide if I want it to be long or short, and then I'll just like tie it in. I do usually always tie the these ones in towards the middle, so it's usually on these the inner side of like these ones that are on the cap band. But you can tie them wherever. It's up to you. Um, what color should I use to tie it? I don't know why I'm thinking so much about what color I used to tie it. You can't see it. It doesn't matter. And yet I'm still thinking about it. So yeah, like I said, I would leave him inside out like this so you can see and just make a few more. Um, or you could flip him over and then... I think this guy might need one more really long one and then like... A few more medium length ones. I like how long this one is. Um, like I said, you're going to want to make six or seven. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to make four more. Four, maybe five more. And then I'll come back and show you how to finish them up. Okay. Oh god, what kind of voice crack was that? Okay. Um, so I finished tying everything. I just want to show you how it kind of looks. So it kind of looks a little messy underneath. But you just flip it over. And this might happen sometimes just because of how much we have tied there where it'll, the middle will kind of sink in. But you can get your hook. Just kind of pull it up. And then it'll stay up. Like that. Yay. This is how my rainbow one's looking. Super cute. And... Yeah. So now the last thing we have to do to finish him off besides the face is tie these in. So... These are just like some extra long ones I put in. Usually I try to make them a lighter color than whatever the rest is just because I feel like that's how an actual jellyfishes are. So today I think I'm going to use this lighter blue color. So all you do to make the long bits is... Let me make sure... And... Okay. So all we're going to do is you're going to take a band, you're going to put it on your hook, you're not going to wrap it or anything, you're going to take another band, and you're going to pull it through, you're going to put both ends back on, and you're going to push the back one over the front one, and you're going to pull really tight, like that. And we're going to do that one more time. And then you pull really tight, like this, and then you should end up with something that looks like this. And then, usually I make them um, three or four long. Uh, I just counted on the other jellyfish, so they're usually about three or four long. And I usually only put about three or four in, so there's not too many that you have to put in. But, once again, <laughs> just flip your guy inside out. And then, just tie these towards the middle. So just pick a spot where you want to tie them. And then just tie it in. Like that. Like I said, you're going to want to make a few of these that are different lengths. Uh, I usually like to do about three long. So, yeah, I'll show you one more time in case you're confused. So you just put a band on your hook. You get another band. You pull it through. You put both ends back on your hook. You push the back one over the front one and you pull really tight. And by really tight, I don't mean like snapping bands tight. I just mean like you can tell it's not going to come apart. So we'll just do this one more time. So you take another band, you pull it through everything on your hook, both ends back on, push the back one over the front one, and pull tight. Like that. And you just tie this into your jellyfish. Oop. Like I said, I never put too many of these. I'll put four max, probably. Three is usually good. Don't have to put too many. Uh, I'm going to just do one more. I'll probably do two more, but I'll do one more. And I'm only going to make this one too long, so... Let's 
gonna tie these two together and then I'll knot this into the head. <laughs> I'll just try to untwist these a little bit. Right here. And like I said, you don't have to tuck any of these tails in because they all kind of hide into the head, so usually, um, pretty good. My mom just texted me something. She's probably leaving the house. But, yeah. Then you'll just flip them inside out. And like I said, the head usually will sink in because we had not flipped like that inside out and we were pulling on it. So just pull the cat band back up. And then it should stay. Well, it might sink in a little bit, but you'll be okay. And like that. Um, yeah, so I might tie one more in off camera, but I think I'm going to leave it like this for now just so I can finish um, this guy up for the tutorial. But yeah. So now all we have left to do is the face. Um, you can use beads for the eyes, but I always get this question. If you have, if you don't have beads, what do you do? Um, so what you can do if you don't have beads is you get a band. And you're just going to wrap it four times around your hook. So you can rip it twice both of those and do it again so it's four times you pull the band through and then you can just tie this into the head and it'll work as an eye but I have beads so I'll be using beads today um, there's one I also always get the question of how do you put beads on I don't know why but I'll do it on camera just because I also hope I'm not going super fast. I feel like the jelly, jelly part, like his legs, is not that complicated. Like that. Oops. And then, I actually have a pretty, like, I always tie the eyes in the same spot, so this is the very last row. This is, like, the second row, and I'll go, like, right here. Oh, wait, is this the part I want to be the front? <laughs> Let me just make sure the part I want to be... Yeah, that's the front of the jellyfish, okay. Since he is a circle, you can decide like what part you want to be the front. Um, this is the part I want to be the front. I'll just tie the eyes in. And a tip I have in case you want to move your eyes is just leave the tails out until you're sure you like where the eyes are, and then tuck them in. that I like where his eyes are so I'm just gonna pull the tails in and like I said you just have to pull them into the bottom of the jellyfish you can't see them so you don't really have to tuck them in and I haven't had any ta problems with the tails coming out either so I usually just pull them in and leave them and like I said the head might keep sticking in for a bit but that's just because of how much tying we did but if you just keep pulling up on it every once in a while it'll kind of puff back out okay and then the very last thing we have to do is put cheeks on them. I put cheeks. You don't have to put cheeks. But I think it looks cute. So where I usually put the cheeks... Oh, I'm trying to get my camera to focus. Oops. There we go. Okay. So right here's the eye. Go under it. And you'll get whatever color band you want for the cheeks. Pull it through. Both ends on. And you're not going to pull it tight. You just tie this one very loosely. And then you tuck the end inside. Like that. We'll do this again to the other side. Right here. Like that. And then that'll be your jellyfish. Um, I'm also going to show you how to do the bow just because all my jellyfish have bows and I don't know if you know how to do the bows. So I'm going to show you how to do the bows. By the way, I always glue the mouth on with hot glue so I never show that in my tutorials. But I'm just going to show you how to do the bow and I think we are done with this jellyfish. So how I do the bow is you're going to want to get something that either has two pegs or you can use your fingers but I'm going to be doing a rainbow bow for this guy so I didn't want to like suffocate my fingers. And all you do is you lay bands 
across two pegs, however many you want for the bow. Usually I only do about five, but this guy's gonna be getting a rainbow bow, so he's gonna have like seven. But yeah, you just lay all your colors across, pins. And you just need anything with two pegs, so this doesn't necessarily need to be a loom. Just anything where you can stretch bands across will work. Fine. Look at that. So normally I wouldn't do this many bands for a bow, I just... I really wanted to have a rainbow bow, so I'm gonna leave it with this many bands. But then all you do is you're gonna go to the bottom. You kind of stretch them underneath, and then you pull them back over the top. And then you'll, so you have it kind of like wrapped around this. And then you'll push the back ones over the front ones, and then you'll pull tight. And then there you have a bow. And I'm trying to keep my rainbow order, so I'm going to have to carefully remove this. If you put them in a specific order and you have them on the two pegs and you want them to stay in that order, remove it carefully. Otherwise, you can remove it like a loom. <laughs> but yeah, and then you'll have a bow that you can tie into their head. Yeah. I'm really- this jellyfish turned out so cute and I'm going to have to part with it because it's for somebody. <sighs> it's tragic, but oh well. Yeah. And there we go. So I think that is it for this tutorial. I hope your jellyfish turned out okay. Um, if you make a jellyfish, definitely share it with me on Instagram. I always love seeing what you guys create. Even though I sometimes get behind on liking and commenting on them, I do always see them and I do... I always get so excited whenever anyone makes anything I like. Anything I like. Anything I designed. My words today. I'm apo I apologize if I mixed anything up in this tutorial. Um, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials from me. I definitely have some things coming. Um, what do I have coming next? Um, I'm making a tutorial for Zimmy next, I believe, so I'm going to be doing it for her mammoth. I also made a little baby mammoth, so I'll be doing one for her bigger mammoth that she says is a mini mammoth, but this still wasn't made to me, so I made an even smaller one. Um, so a tutorial for both of those guys will be next. Uh, I also worked made a snow cone design for the 4th of July, so maybe a tutorial for that. Let me know. So yeah, but I think that is it for this video. Uh, like I said, I hope your jellyfish turned out okay. But yeah, I think that's it, so bye. <laughs>